If you want to create professional logos like these in only one click, keep watching this video, because we'll build step-by-step -step this automation that does everything for you. You need to just go over to any image you would like to refine and update, and here just copy the image URL, and then just paste it inside our chat. And afterwards, you do this, um, the entire automation runs. So here, our AI agent creates for us the prompt, then we use um, ChatGBT image generation tool to generate for us the logo, and at the end, it's uploaded to Google Drive. And boom, after a minute, I've got my professional logo created. Let's see, we can click on view here, and afterwards, just look. We've got BTEC technology, even in the Google Drive, we've got this exact file on the transparent background, so professional logo within a minute. Let's go over to the next case, so for an example, copy the image URL of, um, yeah, of this exact logo because I would like to improve that. So even you can go over to internet and just look. I can um, actually improve any logos I see, just refine them, update, and in general, create better version. So let's preview that again. Let's click here on view. And you can see we've got really professional logo with this simple automation that I will show you how to build in this video. And actually, it's so, so powerful. You can modify um, kind of this automation for, let's say, t-shirt mockups for any kind of circumstances, maybe creating some digital products, and it's highly professional. So by the end of this video, you will know how to do this. Even I, I have for you the free template you can use. So just import um, to an then and afterwards have the entire automation set up. Also, the instructions totally for free. So if you go over to our 100% free community, um, I will put the link in the resources of this material. Um, you can go over to the classroom and here inside the YouTube resources, you will find a um, professional logo creator. You've got instructions that I will that we'll be using in this material. However, you've got also the JSON file. Let's download that and let me show you how it works. So you can just simply download that and here um, create new workflow, um, import from file. And afterwards, you've got the entire workflow set up. Uh, however, now let's delete it and let's create that from scratch. So first step is our chat trigger. We would like actually to paste the URL of some specific logo that is already created. However, the point of this project is to take some logo that we think like has a huge potential and create something better, all right? It's so, so nice because even we can create better versions. And again, you can adjust that, I mean, this entire workflow for any case you wish. So let's say t-shirt mockups. Um, I don't know, maybe some digital products. You can even earn money and do a lot of stuff with that. It's so, so simple. Um, however, let's build it. So let's choose on chat message. And now just go ahead with the next step, which is actually our if um, note. Uh, we would like to check... Um, if, if we have an URL, not other information inside the chat. Otherwise, we've got an error, we can occur a lot of different things that, that, we, w that we don't want to um, yeah, happen um, for our automation and the process. So first things first, let's go over um, and copy the image um, address, okay, here. And now just paste it inside the message, all right? So what we can do now, we can take the chat input and in the string actually um, take starts with. And we just provide HTTPS um, colon and two slashes. So every URL starts with that, okay? Even you can type actually HTTP, um, that depends. But for this case, um, even you can add the next condition. So, you know, and, and there provide HTTP and um, two slashes. However, for now, I will stick with the HTTPS uh, yeah, um, beginning. Um, so let's actually delete it. And now what we can do, we can test the step. So see if that works. All right, yeah, so we've got this condition. Otherwise, we would like to stop the automation because uh, we want, we don't want to um, it to crash in the future, okay? The next step right away will be our OpenAI uh, model. We would like to analyze an image. So here, we would like to um, provide the text input, which is what's in this image. Uh, we want to provide the model. Um, so let's pick um, here GBT40. And there, uh, we can go ahead and provide um, our URL from our chat input, okay? Let's test the step. And now this model will actually analyze for us an image and will give kind of the entire concept for the further step. Uh, for the further note, which is our AA agent.
So let's click on plus. Let's uh, pick our A agent. After we do this, we can actually change the source for a prompt, which is defined below. And there we need to provide our prompt for the model. Because this model, what, what actually it will do? It will create for us the prompt for the further image we'll create, okay? So here again, we provide an URL, we check if it's an URL, then uh, we use OpenAI model that actually um, describes what is on an image. Then we put this data from the OpenAI to our A agent that actually creates for us the prompt. Simple as that, okay? Let's add the model, which is OpenAI. Um, right. Um, then what we can do, we can go over to our community and here we've got um, A agent instructions. So simply go over here, just copy that. Um, you can join totally for free. Uh, provide there the prompt, right? And there, that's pretty it. We can just test the step and we should get, uh, yeah, our prompt. So create a professional logo design featuring a minimalistic geometric icon and modern sans serif typography. Even let me show you what is inside uh, our instructions. So even you can modify them, you know, like it's your choice. You are a creative prompt generation assistant specialized in professional logo design enhancement. Your job is to analyze an existing logo concept and generate a new upgraded version that preserves the original layout, symbol, placement, uh, and message while enhancing the visual style, branding, quality, and professionalism. And there I provided some, um, yeah, some points, so keep all um, <laughs> key elements intact. Icon, text, and composition do not remove or reposition major components. So, like very detailed instructions how it should behave. So suggest typography, um, typography that aligns with the brand identity, modern sans sheriff, elegant sheriff, geometric. And what we do with these instructions, not only we create the prompt, however, we actually improve the general output we want to get, all right? Because here, um, yeah, let's see, um, let's look on this model. It describes our image and there, and there even actually we take the description and we improve it, okay? So our model creates for us even better description for an image, what to add, and it thinks for us. It's huge. Because actually you take any logo on the internet and you every time get something better. Actually in 99%, okay? Uh, you get something better. And that's, that's truly amazing. Even you can take actually, you know, let's go over to t-shirt uh, mock-up, all right? You can create, actually customize these instructions because at the end of the day, what you need to do, you need to only customize these instructions for any case you want. You can actually, um, you know, take this t-shirt mock-up, you think, all right, it's not good. It's, it's actually, I could it, I, I could it, um, yeah, better. Um, so you can just take it, provide to your model, and afterwards, you know, create something better. Simple as that, like sell it, make money, do whatever you want, okay? Um, so that's the point. Even we've got the rules, so output only the final design prompt as a single plain text sentence, no markdown, no line breaks, return it as a uh, prompt format for model to generate an image. And here also we would like to get the JSON string, it's important, and our um, quotation marks, yeah? And um, what we get, we've got this prompt. Um, so actually now let me show you, um, so yeah, let me change the camera. Create a professional logo design featuring a minimalistic geometric icon and modern sans serif typography, ensuring precise alignment and balanced spacing. Set against a transparent background for crisp contrast and vector-like sharpness, while maintaining the original layout and symbol placement to enhance brand quality and professionalism. It's pretty cool. Um, and after we have our four, four nodes, we need to provide the code, um, actually our um, JavaScript code, to get rid of any elements that um, you know that are af affecting uh, the prompt from ChatGPT. So here inside our community, I prepared for you the JSON code. You need to just copy and paste again. Um, so go over here, just you know, paste it. And in general, what we do, we clean this data. Uh, yeah, we just clean this data. I won't go more in depth because this is actually, um, you know, this is not um, about the coding and so on, however, about creating this automation. You can read it. So for example, I provided here the points. So escape backslashes and double quotes for JSON safety. So what we do, uh, we, by this way, it's kind of the safety net. So we say, okay, in case we have, for example, let's say backslashes or something else, like change it or even remove or do something else, you know? It's, um, yeah, that's simple. Let's test a step. So now let's see how it performs. 
And now you can see, create a modern logo design featuring a slick geometric icon representing innovation. So by this way, again, uh, we just simply, you know, like formatted the entire prompt to use. And now even what I can do, let me go over and um, take my sticky notes. So I can go over, take my sticky notes, paste them here so it will be better visible. Uh, okay, let's go over there. And now what we can do, we can just um, simply replace that. So now it looks much better. So as you can see, we've got provide an image URL. Here, check if the message is a URL. We analyze image and we generate a new prompt. Um, this is the um, actually step for cleaning the, cleaning the data. And now it's the time for creating a new logo. We'll be doing that by um, using GBT40 image model. So here we need to provide HTTP request. Okay, and now we can go over to website, um, which is um, OpenAI um, API image generation. Image generation. Um, so here, when we open the do documentation, um, let's click on image API. We can see that we have actually our information, how we can set it up. So firstly, let's pick our um, URL and provide um, here. We need to change the method to post because we have here the post. Um, obviously, if you go over to our community, you take this entire template, you've got everything set up, so you can just do this, you know, it's, it's your choice. Um, you can even set it up or just use the uh, ready template, okay? Um, however, I'm showing you that because I think it's very important. Let's change the authentication to predefined credential type. I'm here, credential type, which is um, yeah, OpenAI. Um, all right, and now what we can do, we can send the body. And here, um, let's go over and provide, I'm um, using JSON. And now even we need to provide the JSON, uh, yeah, the JSON code. We can go over to the documentation and here we should get this code, actually. We can go over, get this code uh, and paste here. Uh, now even, um, okay, let me go over to my um, already set up code so I don't need to provide some elements. However, it's really similar. So we've got um, only uh, additionally the quality and they're also um, specified size. So we've got um, 1024 by 1024. And there even in the prompt, um, which is very crucial, we've got actually um, our data from um, code. So what I can do, I can take it here. Okay, uh, let me show you. I can provide the prompt here, which is actually our variable. And remember about the quotation mark, and there also, um, yeah, um, the comma. Now, afterwards, um, we've got our URL method, which is post, obviously. So we've got, again, our URL method, which is post. And um, here we send body, and we specify that here. We would like to use the model, which is GBT image one prompt, which is a variable from our code um, node, size and quality. Um, it's important because also when it comes to the size and quality, um, here you can read. You can provide um, the landscape quality, um, actually size, so it's more um, yeah, like a landscape. And here it's more uh, vertical, all right? So the portrait or even the square, which is this one. Uh, for the quality, you've got high, medium, low. So the choice is yours. Um, I would like to pick the high. However, again, you can modify that. Um, let's test a step, see if we don't have any errors. Hopefully not, it's it's running, all right. Um, so now let's wait for 30 seconds up to one minute or even two. So actually we have our output. However, for now I see that I didn't provide the number of images to create. So in that case, I need to go over, um, actually click tab, open the quotation mark, and there provide the value, which is N. So when you go over to documentation, um, Let's go over here and you will see N, where is that? Um, you've got here N, um, so um, there the number of images to generate must be between one and 10. So you can create up to 10 images and afterwards um, you can split them out with the split out node. However, for now, let's provide the value which is one and now again, uh, regenerate it, okay? So let's wait. So now for sure it works. However, somehow now we need to get this image. So we can actually um, pick a file, okay? So convert to file, 
And then um, we've got um, yeah, the format, which is base64 string, and we need to format that to the file. All right. And now um, right there, we, we can provide this uh, variable. All right. Um, so we can click on the step. And now it's the moment of truth. Um, boom, 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 boom. And let's click on view. And we've got our logo, which is so, so nice. We can even click on download and see how it looks here. It's so, so nice. However, now maybe let's um, provide it there. So on this background. So it's really cool. It's minimalistic. I, I really like it. I can say I really like it. It's so minimalistic. We've got specific colors. Later on, I will show you even more examples. However, now let's end this entire uh, project. So at the end, what we need to do, we need to just uh, provide the drive. So upload these, um, actually, um, these logos somewhere. So let's click on upload file. And now um, let's actually provide um, yeah, the file name. So let's go over and type, for example, test. So pick the static value. Or even you can actually take from the schema, let's say, um, here the prompt for an image. It's also the choice. So here maybe let's take this content. Let's provide it here. And now afterwards, let's choose our drive, our folder. So here I've got logo. Um, let's pick logo designs. Let's test the step. And uh, actually, let's test the step here. OK. And now I should have um, this, um, yeah, like this entire logo right there. So let's see. All right. So note is executed. And yeah, for sure, we've got it. So professional logo on a transparent background. And now uh, let's let me show you actually how it works in some specific cases. Um, so for an example, let's go over and pick some image. Maybe this one. Um, copy image URL. And there, go over here, open the chat. And now paste it. So after we do this, um, let's actually paste it. OK. After we do this, you can see, um, yeah. We've got the um, we've got the URL. Then it created for us here the prompt um, with our code note. It it actually uh, yeah it cleaned it and then um, the image is being created. Um, then it will be converted to file and at the end it will be uploaded to Google Drive. So let's wait a while. So as you can see, note is executed successfully. Um, let's go over to our folder or even here just view it. Nice. Um, let's go over to our folder. So it's cool. This is our logo. And for sure, actually, you can create multiple different logos at once. Again, you can modify this entire automation by going to the AA agent instructions and here providing, let's say, instead of, uh, instead of logo designs, maybe t-shirt mockups or any other circumstances. For now, actually, thank you for watching this video. Um, remember, actually, um, to go over and join our AA enthusiast community. Inside, we've got um, a lot of different free resources. You can join totally for free. Um, you can copy even this template, other templates like a uh, um, passive income YouTube channel, um, here, um, pop videos, cre um, creation system, expense tracker, and so on. Again, for now, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next material.